University of Boyo, CUIB is an institution that is located in the southwest region of Cameroon with two campuses. The main campus is at Wukaka and campus B is at Moliku, chief town of Boyo, regional capital of the southwest region of Cameroon. The Kali University of Boya is the first entrepreneurial university in Cameroon with mission to prepare professional servant leaders with moral and spiritual values who will contribute to sustainable development of their communities. The vision is to bring hope to the students and awaken in them sense of purpose and direction so that they may achieve social, economic, spiritual, cultural and environmental well-being in their communities in particular and the nation at large. Being an entrepreneurial university, the school has its tradition to empower its students with hands-on training experiences in the light of business. This is done through the organization of academic fair, which involves students of CUIB. In the existence of the Catholic University of Boyo, CUIB has been able to organize five editions of academic entrepreneurial fair. The first was done in 2013. The fifth edition of the Academic Entrepreneurial Fair of CUIB took place at the Moluku campus. The five days fair started on the 11th of April and ended on 15th of April 2018 under the theme EOC in Action. That has always been the theme. And when we're talking about it, we thought of changing it this year, but we decided that since it is the fifth edition, let's maintain it for five years and see how it goes. The aim of the Academic Entrepreneurial Fair is to promote the entrepreneurial nature of CUIB based on Catholic religious business principles by fostering confidence in self-reliance for job creation, innovation, inventiveness, and entrepreneurial mindset among CUIB students through the building and testing strategy aligned with local and national partners. Why is it so important to have a trade fair even if just for five days? I will tell you about some stunning research findings. Recent research is showing that, and this world research fact, that career success now in the present age of constant rapid changing in the social and academic landscape is determined more by three factors. Reputation, image, Connection, which is one, and exposure. This is, this is disturbing. According to this very popular PIE model, performance accounts for only 10% of professional success. Only 10% of the recent uh, data that is showing. While image, that means who you are as a person, and your exposure and your makeup makes up for 60% for career success and 30% just for exposure. This blows the mind of everyone now. It blows our educational system in Cameroon. It scatters and challenges our entire educational system, which is so matricule center and exam center, which means that if you go to a university, only 10% of your skill you need if you have to be successful in the present world in which we are. Which means that schools that only run exam center training will only be training students to successful only at 10% level while you have a 90% level lacking. That is why this data tells us why we have to change the way we think about education in the 21st century, but why in the I century, the 20th century. I want to say that this data is explicit for everyone to see. That's why this trade fair is so important, even though it's five days, to help our students develop their reputation, their image, their connections, which is 60%, and exposure 20%. This research does not say passing a public exam and obtaining a certificate is an important determining factor for career success now. In those days, it was, but now it is not. And so I think this is an encouragement to the faculty and staff of CUIB 
not to give up on our vision. The data is stunning. It's stunning. It's stunning. When I saw this data, I just came out from research in the US. When I saw this data, I said, wow, we still have a lot to do. And as you all know, in CIB, this year is a defining year for us as we are rethinking and trying to reshape the landscape of education as proposed by our, our international bodies like the International Association of Catholic Universities and Colleges in the US and also the International Federation of Catholic Universities. They are calling on all institutions to rethink and reshape this landscape based on this data that is currently going around the world. The fair had activities such as conferences, exhibition, boot camp, business plan challenge, just to name the these. The opening ceremony was a memorable event as he saw the presence of top officials in Cameroon and the like of Senator Bela Moki Charles, one of Cameroon's most revered senator in the English-speaking regions of Cameroon, Mr. Roland Kwame, CEO and founder of Go Ahead Africa, former president of Genius Chambers International. Their presence at the event was remarkable in that they got to express their satisfaction with what CUIB is doing so far. It has been amazing. The innovations are a great message to the Cameroonian society of today. They are um, great revelation for an economy like the Cameroonian economy. In fact, the marvelous work that is done at the Catholic University, particularly in the School of Technology, the School of Agriculture, in fact, I, I, I hope that the authorities of the university are going to take all of what they are doing into the uh, outer society of the Catholic University and cause Cameroonians and the world to see how much of innovation is taking place in the Cameroonian university system. And um, I want to say that um, I, I will carry the impressions I've gathered here at this event to authorities in Yaoundé and cause them to um, uh, endorse the work that is being done here. I doff my heart to the authorities, the Catholic uh, authorities of uh, the Diocese of Goya, for this marvelous job that is being done. And I hope that by the grace of the Almighty God, this is going to be translated into catching up with the needs and necessities of our Cameroonian society, particularly that which has to do with the youthful communities of our country. There was something important in the speech of the President, Father George Kezer, uh, who was sharing the data and the facts about the market uh, uh, references now for those who want to pursue their career as an entrepreneur or even as co corporate managers. He spoke about the 10% performance, you know. What we count is not, is not how performant you are, how competent you are. But what is so important is your personality, your attitude, but also your, your network and how visible you are. And where, when we saw our students, you know, even in terms of the agricultural school, explaining scientific research results in such an easy way, I told myself, hey, we are on the right track. So congratulations to CIB, congratulations to the student, but also want to thank uh, all the authorities. Uh, despite the challenges that we are, we are facing as a region, uh, these young people, they are committed to the solution providers. And that's what entrepreneurship is all about. The students on their part defended the business plan challenge in the entire university community. Here at the School of IT, we, we offer services like movie transfers, software solutions, diagnostics, and computer repairs. For some services, we do them on site, and for some other services, we, we only have to book the contract like website designs and graphic designs. My name is Kam Ramble, School of Engineering, Department of Mechanical Engineering. And you're welcome to the School of Engineering Stand. Behind me, we have several products. First, the AO Slicing Machine. It is used in our community because we notice that women, women actually go through stress in slicing AO. So we came up to 
this machine that eats that process. And also here we have soap. This American soap we wish you help to remove ashes and dead cells from your body. I'm Tuku Ewosa Felicitas, a junior year student in the School of Agriculture and Natural Resources in the Cali University Institute of Boya. Okay, the, we are doing Wakari and many several research works in order to help the community. This research work particularly is to help to reduce those diseases caused by synthetic antioxidants used by used by industries in, sto in storage of oil, in the storage of oils. So in this work we can see that in this case we use natural antioxidants from a shortage from ginger. This is the ginger and this is its extract. We are using it to analyze how long an oil can stay using a natural extract from ginger other than the synthetic antioxidants used by industries to, to store their oils. So yeah, we have a control with the oil in its natural form, then with the synthetic antioxidants and the natural antioxidants from ginger extract which is being stored for 30 days at 70 degrees Celsius for 8 hours each day. During this time, their induction time is being characterized, their peroxide value, their P and the same value and their gas chromatography. that's the fatty acid composition of the earth. I'm Casey Fogway from Freshman School of Business and this is um, stand C13 with um, African products from Every part of Africa, there's some products here from South Africa, Kenya, and Ghana. It's more, it is time to portray African culture and fashion because African fashion is a very colorful and lively one. So this stand is just to portray all what we can do with African fabric and African fashion. I'm Imela Risa and I'm a student here in the Ghana Institute of Boya. And I'm doing chemical engineering level four. Now I'm roasting cow meat and chicken. So there are one one hundred for cow meat and two hundred for chicken. So that trade fair is really a good platform for us students now to expose ourselves in other how how can I say in other activities like I'm doing engineering but now I'm roasting ch chicken. So this this trade fair is giving the opportunity to everybody to do many uh, many things. During the fair, the students had the opportunity to exchange business ideas with corporate businessmen and women. Equally, the seminar and conferences was an opportunity for the students to gain professional hands-on experience with those from the corporate world who come to share their weaknesses, strength, and success in their businesses. I'm Ojan Bison Etang, a Catholic University student, junior here, School of Business, studying human resources. Today we had a very interesting conference with the Customer Service Service Center. It was a very great experience because it taught us the customer experience, meaning it, it they helped us to understand what our customers really want from us and what they deserve from us and the experience they gain after having this confrontation with us. The closing ceremony was on Sunday, during which prizes were awarded to students with the Best Business Plan Challenge. Best student, most outstanding student during the trade fair, most entrepreneurial and innovative student, just the name of these. At the end of the academic entrepreneurial fair, the students will have to write a report upon which they will be evaluated. All students are expected to group themselves in teams of five and write a report on the fair and submit at the city office latest April 20th. The 2018 CUIB Academic and Entrepreneurial Fair has come and gone. 2019 is loading for a better future.
of entrepreneurship in Cameroon.